friends welcome back to i guess me since i've been the one who's missing welcome back welcome back if you're new here this is a fun video to tune in on i just had a baby he is having a snack right now if you hear some baby noises that's what's going on we are about a little over two weeks two and a half weeks postpartum so he's two and a half weeks old already. I don't even know how that's possible. But today I'm going to be chatting about how uh, birth went. I really thought I was going to bring my camera and do some vlogging in the hospital. But he decided to throw the plan right out the window. And... uh so therefore, the vlogging thing didn't happen because he decided he wanted to come when he wanted to come. But I will share with you my little story. Oh, his little hand, he's saying hi. I'll share with you my story and then a whole bunch of the pictures that I took. So if uh, birth stories are your jam, this is a... Uh, a video for you but if not i will be coming back to semi-regular content not all the time not weekly not even two videos a week um of my more regular mom content so if you do like cleaning and grocery hauls and cooking and bed budget meals and all things house related and kid related and mom related stick around subscribe and uh i'm happy to have you join our family all right, friends, this little man decided to throw my plan kind of out the window. My plan was to have him three days later than he came. He was supposed to come with a scheduled C-section on a Monday morning around 730. He decided that he was going to come a little bit before 4 a.m. on a Friday. It was kind of chaos. Like I said, I was going to try and vlog in the hospital a little bit, but it was just absolute chaos for the first chunk. Once he got here, it was fine, but it was chaos for a while. I did not believe I was in labor. I did not think that that was possible because I had already had it scheduled. So there's no way he could come earlier. Wrong. Babies do what they want when they want and they like to throw the plan out the window. Yeah, you do. So, I was convinced I was not in labor. I woke up around midnight on Friday. I texted Nick around 12.30 saying, Hey, I'm pretty sure I'm in labor. Having some contractions. I'm going to start timing them to see if I need to go to the hospital. See if I need to call the doctor. You know, see if we're having this baby. About 20 minutes go by and my contractions amp up so much in those 20 minutes i'm telling neck i'm like you gotta come home you gotta come home from work he works overnight our second shift picked up some hours but i was like you gotta come home you gotta come home right now so he comes home he deals with amelia gets her ready we he calls my mom thank goodness my mom was awake she must have had mom intuition she meets us at the hospital it takes time to get a uh, super laboring person to the car, <laughs> especially with a toddler in tow at 1 a.m., 1.30 by the time we finally start getting into the car. We're about a half an hour drive from the hospital. So we get to the hospital around 2 a.m. My mom is there. We, well, I don't. I go straight inside. Nick passes off Amelia and he follows me up. I go start checking in, uh, continue having contractions, talking to the nurse about said plan. I would said we had a plan for Monday, having a C-section. My birth canal is too small to uh, get a baby out. That's why I have to have C-sections. So can we do this plan? It's already in my chart. Like, Let's just do the exact same thing that we were going to do on Monday, but right now. And so that's what we did. And he was born a little bit before 4 a.m. And everything was perfect once we got into the OR. I had never experienced uh, contractions to that level before. 
because I was induced last time, so I already had um, support at the hospital before they started getting bad, but I was heavily contracting, like very much in labor before I got to the hospital this time. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of pain. I don't know how you tough ladies do natural births. It's not for me. More power to you, but there was no way I could have done that. My body couldn't either, so. Sorry, he's just making the craziest little faces, but we had our C-section. He is perfect in the OR. He, they bring you, they bring you into the OR and then your husband or your partner, whomever, is, can come in after you're all set up. And he came in and sat next to me, Nick. And then as soon as he was here, little Lucas, they bring him over to you and you can do um, skin to skin right in the OR, which is what we did. We got some pictures taken and he's just been the coziest, sleepiest, chattiest, best baby right from the first minute he was born. So I know that wasn't a super in-depth uh video birth video like I said I really wanted to film for you guys in the hospital but it was straight chaos I was not expecting to go into labor beforehand because he was born two weeks before his due date so I just really wasn't expecting it especially with Amelia because we wouldn't pass her due date and I needed to be induced because she was just super cozy was not going anywhere so I was not expecting that so I was expecting to have plenty of time to uh, record in the hospital with you guys, but that just didn't happen. But a little update for uh, little man. He's doing great. He's already passed his um, birth weight. He's put on a pound, actually. He's doing really, really well. Um, sleeping pretty good. He gives us like four hour chunks at night. Three and a half, four hour chunks. And he's eating great. He's playing with his sister. Amelia is doing fantastic with him. I could not ask for that to be better. She is doing so, so, so well with him. Loves him so much. Um, we're making sure that she still gets plenty of one-on-one -on -one time so that she doesn't feel replaced. But I think she's just so excited that he's here that she wouldn't feel different even if she wasn't getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time but it's important to me to make sure that they each get one-on-one -on -one time so that's what we're doing i have healed beautifully compared to last time last time i took off a lot of time from youtube because i was not feeling good last time last time i was really really sore and really really rough for a long time I was pushing to get out of the hospital early this time. They wanted me to stay another day. I said, absolutely not. I want to leave now. Like, can I leave yesterday kind of deal? I have felt great um, up walking around same day. I think I was up on my feet walking at 1030 or 11, something like that. So only a few hours after he was born. But we were doing great in the hospital and so I, I needed to make a break for it we left early we've been home we've been out we've already gone out for a lunch together we've had family outings doctor's appointments we're doing beautiful I'm very very blessed that that's how well we're doing because last time it was not very smooth so I am beyond blessed to be at this point already and I'm going to show you all of the photos that I took in the hospital and since we've been home I'm going to throw those in now
All right, if you stayed this long and you watched all the videos and you listened to me ramble, you get to watch a cute little uh, blooper, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, not sure how people with large families and lots of kids vlog because I'm already getting my butt kicked and I only have two. But I guess kids do get older and things will get easier as they get older. But I don't want them to get older. I want them to stay like this. So enjoy the little mess my toddler decided to do with my camera. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be posting more regularly there for a while until we're back into the swing of things. Oh, and a little boy. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. 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 Oh. Well, that's cute. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I gotta go clean him up. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi, friends! Oh my goodness! A picture. A picture. It's okay. A okay. picture. Yeah, you're taking pictures. Jeez, you gotta back up. The camera can't see you. You're too close. Yeah. Yeah. Filming with kids. This is going to take a little bit to learn how to do.